Welcome to everybody. I'm really glad that you each chose to be here. We're excited. This is a musical be in. <laughs> and before I describe that, I just want to um, I want to thank the Nevada Theater. Um, and part of that is also to thank uh, Luke Wilson and Maggie McCaig and Buko Chapeau. Um, we were at an event that they were uh, spearheading at the Wild Eye Pub a couple few months ago. It was an auction benefit, uh, benefit auction for the campfire. Um, and one of the auction items was the Nevada Theater. And in a moment of recklessness, I bid on it. Um, <laughs> So I got an incredible discount on the Nevada Theater for an evening. And uh, that's, that's why we're here. And so thanks to the Nevada Theater for generously donating not only the theater for the night, um, but also we have technical crew. We have Paul Emery running sound. Um, we have Tom Taylor up in the heights doing everything else, lights and all kinds of mysterious things. Um, and I want to thank our volunteers doing concessions and ticket box and everything. Um, Nina McNair and y Yvonne um, and others, Kelly Moreno. Um, uh, so I think those are all the thank yous. I think there's something I'm forgetting. <laughs> okay, so now the music will be in part. Um, thinking, what am I going to do with the Nevada Theater? It's a little intimidating. Um, and I've played here before, but I've never spearheaded a, a, an event. And anyway, so I, I just settled on this idea. I felt really inspired about a be-in, because I was born in 65. I missed the actual be-ins in the 60s. So I want to kind of resurrect that spirit. And um, to me, what it means is we are actually here now. We are being. And to me, the, the universe is inherently musical. The universe is musical. We are musical. And so what I want to do, my intent of tonight, is to tap into that inherent musical expression of pure being that I believe is, is just what we are. Um, it's just what's happening. So I got to recruit my dream team of musicians up here. So I want to, you know, Ludi Hendricks, Randy McKean, <laughs> Linton Hale, Robert Hyrant, Sean Kerrigan. Um, and um, all these musicians are acute listeners, very intuitive, very creative, very expressive. And I've played with them all in different contexts. So I thought this would be really a fun thing to do. It is an experiment. So be warned that we're kind of letting you in on an experimental evening. I have, um, I've created a kind of a blueprint list of concepts. We've had four get-togethers. Um, about eight hours, I guess, of getting together, trying ideas. So I have a, a blueprint of concepts, some of which we have ac haven't actually done yet. Some of them we have. Um, be, uh, so we will navigate through that, time permitting. I want to also be thoughtful about the fact that it's midweek, um, and I want to do you know approximately two 45-minute sets and try to end 9:15 or so. Um, we'll have a short break. So we're going to have just the teeniest bit of chit-chatting in between pieces to decide what's next. So you know, we're, this is not like a pure, polished, um, rehearsed performance as much as it is we're inviting you in on our experimental process. And we're, we're here to be together, to be here together now and allow the music to bubble up and be with it all, with our musical being. So thank you.
we go. I'd like to say a word about this instrument. Um, some of you may be familiar with it and some of you may not be. It's called the Mbira and it comes from Zimbabwe. And uh, the Shona people, uh, the tribe in Zimbabwe, have been playing this instrument for, for many, many years. And so uh, Joe and I are gonna do a duo. And for this duo, we are, we are gonna break the rules a tiny bit of our BN and do, do a piece. <laughs> a piece that comes from Zimbabwe, and it's called Dande.
is we have too much material and too little time. <laughs>
So we'll do one little bit more and then we'll take a break and we'll come back with another full exceptional set. I'm going to do a short tabla solo. I've always wanted to do that.
So we're going to take a little breather and uh, cool off, and we'll come back for some more wild who knows what. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Don't go away. <laughs> Welcome back. We're going to do um, our second set here. And we're only very slightly behind schedule, so I think we're doing pretty good. How are you all doing? I really appreciate your presence. Thanks for being here. <laughs> this is so fun. We're having a great time. We were just back there talking about how much fun we're having. So, um, Ludi has something special to share, and then uh, we're going to do some more music. Yeah, actually, this is a, just in the form of, a, of announcement. Um, I don't know how many of you have been out to Camptonville. There's the, com the Camptonville Community Center. And uh, Terry Riley has curated a series of three or four concerts every year for the past three years. And this Saturday is the 23rd. And at 7.30 out there, um, there's going to be one of the finest masters of the pipa which is the Chinese lute. Kind of looks like a, like a lute. It would be, it's the instrument in China that the sitari is to India. And this lady, her name is Wu Man. And she's, she's uh, known throughout Asia as one of the finest uh, pipa mass, uh, virtuosos. And there's, the tickets are still available for that. There's quite a few tickets. So I just wanted to pass the word out for uh, anyone who wants to see an extraordinarily fine artist this Saturday, the 23rd. It's at the Camptonville, on, in Camptonville. It's called the Camptonville Community Center. It's about a 30 to 35 minute drive from Nevada City. And it starts at 7.30. It's a very fine little hall there, acoustically tuned hall with a great sound system. And uh, this is a world-class artist. We're worth seeing if you like some of this type of energy you saw tonight. Thank you.
So we have one final piece for you tonight. <clears throat> but it's our power piece to, to go out into the night. So we're going to try something a little different. You'll all know this. Sing along. Yeah. <laughs>